afternoon. Hello. Hi. Testing one, two, three. Hello. Can anyone hear me? This is my first time going live, so bear with me. I'm trying to see whether I'm doing it right. <laughs> if you can hear me, please say yes in the comment. So I know I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kavita. I'm a pharmacist and I'm the admin of this group for the past six years. I'm just hopping on really quick today for a quick uh, lunch and learn session. Okay, Fridays are usually, uh, you know, at this time most of us are having our lunch or on our way out to pick your children up from school, which I'm going to do soon. So I just thought of hopping on to share a little bit about uh, doTERRA essential oils and mainly three oils that I think are very important uh, for anyone to start off with. You know, there are so many oils. Uh, huh? Thank you, Rupa. Thank you. There are so many oils in the market when it comes to doTERRA. So how do we start and where do we start, especially for someone who has not used any at all? So this is just going to be a quick 10-minute video for you to watch and eat uh, as you go about your Friday afternoon. Okay, so the oils that I would recommend to start off with are the three basic oils. Okay, basically it's lavender, lemon and peppermint. Now we all know that lavender essential oil, most of us associate it with calming, soothing, uh, you know, zen, emotion kind of thing, right? But frankly, doTERRA lavender goes beyond it. Now many years ago, six years ago basically, when I started using essential oils, I did not believe in them because being a pharmacist and having uh, been taught you know, in medical school or pharmacy school, there was no essential oil topic to be dealt with and frankly I was very skeptical. But I tried it because I wanted to help my son uh, who had just finished chemotherapy at that time and I wanted to help, I wanted something natural that was pure, that was safe, that was potent to help to support his immune system and to help with his breathing and to help with his sensitive skin because I just did not want to over medicate even though I knew it so well. So the difference with doTERRA oils, if many of you here have never used it before, is the CPTG trademark. Now what is this trademark all about? Basically, the essential oil uh, industry is not regulated. You know, there's no FDA overlooking it. So we don't know for sure whether the bottles of oils that you're buying, is it really pure or not? You know, how do you know? Is there a certificate? So because of that, doTERRA decided that they would set the gold standard for essential oils. Okay, so if you notice all your single bottles, I'm holding a lemon essential oil here. Single bottle essential oils, if you look at the bottom of the bottle, there is a batch number there. Now this batch number, if you go online, there is a page called www.sourcetoyou.com. If you key in this batch number there, it will give you a third-party tested GCMS test result. Now for many of you who may not know what a GCMS test is, basically this GCMS tells you what is the content of this bottle. Is it really lemon or is it something being added into it? Okay, this is your assurance that we need when we use oils in our home. Because when you are using oils, whether you're going to inhale it, whether you're going to consume it or whether you're going to dilute and apply on your skin, it's going to go into your system. So we need to make sure that we're, what we're using is really pure and it's really helpful. We don't want you know, other side effects from it, right? And that was my main concern. So uh, when I started six years ago, I started with Easy Air because my son often had respiratory issues and we had a nebulizer at home, you know, those big bulky machine where you put in the... Uh, medicine and then they need to inhale it you know I had those and I wanted to help his immune system post chemotherapy to be built up because he was five at that time and going to kindergarten and having all kinds of infections set in okay now I want to make it clear that essential oils are not a magic oil it's not a magic uh, uh, you know uh, 
it can cure everything. No, it's not like that. You know, if you have attended all my sessions, I always tell you that these are just part of tools that you can use to help your body to heal. You still have to look into your food, your rest, your stress, your um, products that you're using in your on your body, in your home, you know, that kind of toxic body burden that you may have. You need to do all that first and then use these oils as an additional tool to help your body heal. So now, uh, let me just quickly go through the three oils that I mentioned, which is lavender, lemon and peppermint. Have any of you used lavender, lemon and peppermint before? I think you would have. Okay, so uh, if you're looking at lavender essential oil, like I mentioned earlier, most of you would associate it with stress and sleep, right? Okay, now, if you want to know more about lavender essential oil, I'm going to just show you the book that I refer to. Uh, some of you may have it, The Essential Life, right? Okay, this is a very complete uh, reference book. Okay, just let me read through for you, okay? It also helps with sunburns and scars. Okay, if you're having any allergies, a mosquito bite, an insect bite, an ant bite, if you have a colicky or upset baby that needs calming, okay, you can use lavender as well. For cuts and wounds and blisters because it has antiseptic properties, okay, and it can also help to soothe migraines and headaches, right? It is a simple uh, scalp massage technique that I usually demonstrate in my team of users to aid with any kind of um, headache, you know, because sometimes it's just stressful, sometimes it's the heat, sometimes you just have so many things to do and, you know, things can sort of get overwhelmed, right? Now, looking at um, the emotions, okay, how do we have emotions? I have another book for that, okay? So, this book talks about the emotional aspects of lavender. It tells me that if I have any fear of rejection, okay, if I have racing thoughts, and if I feel un insecure or unloved, then lavender is the oil to be used. There are three ways to use essential oil. Just very basic groundwork here. First one is to, you know, is to inhale because these molecules are volatile. And the easiest way to enter the body is through breathing. We all need to breathe, right? You don't breathe for a few minutes, that's it, right? So it gets into the system really fast. Now, the second way of using essential oils with doTERRA is application. Now, we do not recommend neat application. Neat means you're using it directly from the bottle on your skin. We always use a carrier oil because the carrier oil makes sure the essential oils go deeper into the system. It reduces any risk of sensitivity of your skin because these oils are very pure and potent. Okay, And of course, it saves you money because you're using less drops, right? So that's what we want, right? So this is how we use it. The third way, of course, is to consume. If you're comfortable consuming the essential oil, you can go ahead. But for me, I would say it's for adult only, okay? And you just need one or two drops in a glass of water and you can consume it for particular purposes, right? So that was lavender we talked about. Now, the second oil that is very versatile from head to toe, I tell you, uh, it's peppermint, okay? If, you know, you, if you're in this group for quite some time, you notice that I use a lot of peppermint peppermint and wild orange, peppermint and rosemary because that's the oil for focus and energy and uh, if you're like me, you wake up early like 5 a.m. in the morning and you know, you're just out and up throughout the day until 10 p.m. You'll need some peppermint to keep you going, right? So besides peppermint for energy, for focus, what can we use it for? Okay, let me just read to you. It's for fevers. It helps to uh, regulate the temperature on top of the medication you may be giving to your child. Okay, it can help cravings. If you're on a sugar diet or you're, you want to kick the sugar off and that piece of cake is staring at you, okay, once in a while you can eat. Lah. But uh, a lot of times we give into our cravings, especially during our premenstrual cycle, the PMS week. So how can we support ourselves to say no to that extra piece of pastry or sugary you know, stuff that's looking at you. So we use peppermint to inhale or to consume. It can also be used for pain. If you have a muscle pain, you have your period pain, uh, you can also use that. And you can also use it for any kind of stomach issues. Okay, you may have an upset stomach, a bit of wind and so on. Peppermint is the oil to use, right? So very versatile. And let me read to you the emotional benefits of peppermint. Okay, it helps you feel buoyant optimistic, relieved, and it gives you strength 
to face emotional pain, right? So these are how this oil can help for your emotional benefit. And of course, the last one is lemon. Okay, a lot of you are very familiar with lemon. You know, many of us buy lemons. We cut a slice, put into a glass of water, and then steep it, and then we consume, right? Now, many times there are pesticides and chemicals on the rind of the lemon. So how do we get rid of that? We use doTERRA lemon. It's just one drop in a glass of water, and you can consume it to safely detoxify your system. Now, lemon essential oil is also an uplifting uh, oil. It has got a, you know, it's a citrusy oil. It's a happy oil, we call it. So uh, you can use it to diffuse in your room. You know, I like to combine lemon and peppermint in the morning. And if you want, probably at night, you can use lemon and lavender. That will be a nice combination. Now, most of the times, uh, peppermint is used for focus, for energy. Okay, but for some people, when they use peppermint, it makes them fall asleep. Okay, so everybody is different. Our bodies uh, are different and we react differently to essential oils. So for some, when they use lavender, they can't fall asleep. They are awake. So it's hard to say for sure what the effect will be like. You may be one of the rare ones who have the opposite effect of a common essential oil. So only when you try it, then you will know more, right? So my 10 minutes is going to be up. I'm going to be going soon. Now, the other uses for lemon is a natural cleanser. If you're going to be using it to clean your surfaces, you know, you don't want to use toxic chemicals that have a lot of chemical fragrance and, you know, your children or you are walking or using the stuff as well. So it's good to use something that is natural as well. Okay. And uh, it can also be used to relieve gout attacks. Right, a drop in a glass of water to sort of um, get rid of those excess uric acid that has built up in the joint. So this is, uh, many of people have tried this and it works really, really well. Now, because this is a very short 10 minute session that I'm just sharing today, if you'd like to have more information, my teammate, Puan Nurul, is having a session tomorrow via Zoom. Okay, her session is at 9 p.m. tomorrow, right? Uh, natural healing made easy. Okay, so I'm going to share the link, uh, the poster below once I'm done with this uh, session and I've picked my son up and there's a Google form to fill up so that you will be able to get the link and the password. So please free to, uh, feel free to join her tomorrow and you can get more information on uh, how you can use your oils in a very safe manner at home to help your system right now, to help your body, to help your physical um, being your emotions and also your mental well-being at this very trying time okay so but if you're keen to get these three oils they come in a very uh, user-friendly intro kit okay this is 5 ml yeah 5 ml bottles is about 85 drops which is a lot of drops already the 15 ml bottles i showed you just now is 250 drops so this is going at 121 ringgit there are three essential oils inside and there are 101 users, which I will uh, give it to you as well if you decide to purchase the kit. Alright, so with that, I thank you for joining my session today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. Or if you'd like me to share more about certain aspects or certain titles, please feel free to do so. With that, I hope you have a good Friday. Enjoy your lunch and have a wonderful restful weekend. Bye.